Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. Today, one of the planes on my wish list for this year is the FMS 1500mm Mole or Mule or I'm not sure about Mole, Mule, I'm calling it a Mule. Uh, it comes with floats, wheels and it's perfect for this season up here north. Okay, we have the floats here. Need to get this one open. With servo pre installed. Uh, for you guys that are going to uh, drive these ones on snow. It's uh, a good idea to put some uh, uh, packing tape or any smooth surface tape uh, on the, these floats to make sure that you don't break them. Support for the floats. Holy moly, she is so beautiful. <laughs> You're gonna see it soon. Just okay. What do we have here? I guess it's the spinner. Yes, silver plastic spinner. You can see it. The vertical stabilizer. Thanks to Alpha and uh, FMS, which has given me the possibility to do testing uh, of their new models and of course older models, uh, which are still in production. Um, I really love doing these reviews. Uh, it's been a long time since we did a real good uh, inbox review. Uh, the reason that I don't do inbox reviews that often is that there are so many of them out there on uh, YouTube and other channels. And I guess you guys are getting bored of it. But we will do these reviews with timestamps. So if you are able to put the flight video as well on this one, you can just go into the info section and you will see uh, what time you can uh, push on to get to what you want to see. Uh, but then again, on several uh, live stream that we had, people are saying that they want us to do the inbox. It doesn't matter because uh, you see what you want to see, you scroll through what you want to see anyway. So uh, we're doing the inbox now of the mule and of course of another plane that we have uh, laying here now for review. So, uh, but enough talking. <laughs> Holy. Here we have the horizontal stabilizer and you can see on uh, the back here you have uh, supports. Holy moly, Jesus, look at that color, it is so great. You will hear some car sounds uh, out here now because I don't have any filter on the Action 4 which we are using now to film because we're waiting for a new lens. Um, here is the other wing. As you can see they are neatly packed and no damage on anything. It's really really enjoyable to unpack this to find everything is in order and everything is okay. Uh, here's actually something new. 
it's a fiberglass cube. Usually it is a carbon cube, but this one is made of fiber, fiberglass. Not a problem at all. And uh, with this one, we have the manual. Always good. So this one is supposed to have a um, uh, reversing ESC. I'm not sure how it works or how we are going to figure it out, but we are going to figure it out. No problem. Oh, I'm sorry about that squeaking sound. Propeller, and it's uh, 11 by 7. Okay, how can we get this one out? Oh, we got any of that? Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter with the hexagroup because they have put a uh, normal. Uh, prop uh, hub on this one so you can use what type of propeller you have beautiful check it out even a cool little pilot in here I think if it could get, uh, get his head to move hmm hmm well it doesn't matter we need more space there and there is something more here is a usb to usb c cable that means that this plane has the reflex gyro version 2 wires and uh, screws And this plane also have lights. And I'm really, really looking forward to do the testing on this one. That is called wheels. <laughs> oh, with plastic support. Cool. See them? Big wheels home wheels so now we are done with the unboxing let's get the camera a little bit closer and start mounting this beauty so i usually start uh, putting on uh, the wheel assembly for these uh, high wing planes making it easier to work with them and mount the rest of the equipment so we are going to for now put the wheels on it and it doesn't look like it matters what way they are and here also you have the same length on the screws so you don't have to worry that you're using the wrong ones so now we are able to yeah do the rest of the mounting with a little bit more ease so we are going to start with the tail section, like that. If you're new to this, please use the manual. It's very, very good written and it says just what you're going to do and where you're going to do it. <laughs> oh, one screw here also for the horizontal stabilizer. And this one is going in there like that and the other support is going in there like that. A great thing with these airplanes is that they are so great when it comes to mounting them. Um, it's very intuitive and of course if I meet some difficulties uh, mounting this now I will tell you guys. So that was the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And 
there you have one hole for one of the self-tapping screws. I was saying intuitive. Not a problem. And in theory, that should lock this wheel. It does. Beautiful. See, it's a bit off, but that I can I can bend it later when everything is set up. So let's uh, tighten the vertical stabilizer. Uh, blah blah blah. Vertical stabilizer into this camera. Let's do the wings. You can see that there is a gap between uh, this uh, support and uh, the fuse lock uh, mount. Uh, that's uh, usually uh, not a big problem on these uh, planes. The same is with the Cessna, but when you have blown a little bit with it, it will sort of correct itself. Not a big problem though. Uh, and we have the battery hatch. This one goes on a three cell though, 2200 and up to 2700. So you guys done with uh, the wiring, connecting and binding the receiver. Uh, also, uh, the reversing trust is working as a charm. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Uh, let's hook it up with uh, the wings to see that everything works. Uh, we're going to tuck those wires in, put the receiver in a good place, and then we are actually ready to set it up with the links and so on. Uh, the main wings, uh, they come uh, with pre-installed links, you can see there, uh, for the flaps and the ailerons. Uh, just beautiful. And uh, yeah, nothing more to it. So here we have three connectors. And we have three wires in uh, the wing. We have one, which is flap, one aileron and one light. So this is the aileron. Make sure that you get the right connectors. Two more screws. Also, the final thing to do is to mount uh, the uh, links to the servo horns and the uh, rudder horns. So what I'm doing now is I'm mechanically uh, adjusting the links and trying to hit perfect with that and then I can do um, sub trimming later on. I'll put them now on the outer points that will give me uh, less throw I believe. But beautiful anyway. And for the final thing that we are going to do is do those screws when we have fitted these support beams for the elevator like that so i'm recommending uh softening up these foam hinges on the elevator and also on this uh, uh, vertical stabilizer so that you don't have that cracking sound uh, when it comes to uh, the ailerons, they are good to go. And now we are going to just adjust the flaps for my likings. And of course, we're going to go through the manual after we are done filming and setting up the high and low rates uh, for the uh, ailerons and uh, elevator and rudder. But the flaps, I know how I would like them. So this is a stove fly uh, plane. So we want to have a lot of down flaps on this one or full flaps. So um, let's do some uh, forward testing and backwards or reverse uh, as you may.
<laughs> so cool. Just lovely. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to take the first battery and uh, the master of destruction behind the camera is going to take the second one. Ha ha. <laughs> The safe system was on and I forgot which <laughs> button to switch it off with. Okay. And there we are, gyro. Cool. Then we are ready again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Beko, your turn. Uh, okay, Björn, golden hour with okay. a new FMS mule. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trottle helt med.
Björk Ja, det Congratulations. Jeg så det, det var rett bra. Ja. Så derfor er det lurt å bruke flaps. 